My name is Kabir Segal, and I'm the author of Coins, The Rich Life of Money and How Its History Shapes Us. I started working on Wall Street just a few months before the credit crisis began, and I found myself witnessing really history. The markets were tanking, people were losing their jobs and their houses, and I asked the question, what is it about money that makes people act so irrationally? I spent four years researching this book. I traveled to 25 countries from Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands to the Philippines, from Turkey to Thailand, from South Africa to Sri Lanka, and from Mongolia all the way back to New York. Throughout the book, I define money as a symbol of value. And as long as it represents value, humans always want to obtain it, possess it, and control it. The first chapter is on the biology of exchange, looking at the animal kingdom. Do other organisms use exchange? I look at the art on the money. How is money a fossil of society? How does it represent the national ideals and values of a country? How does a dollar bill represent America? Really the point of the book was to coin a multiplicity of ways to look at money. I try to cover all the topics, biology, psychology, anthropology, history, economics, religion, art, even the future, to give us a more panoramic understanding of what is money and why does it have such a powerful influence on our lives.